In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about the combination padlock. This is a great uh, hobby. If you choose to do this, you can actually decode a lock in about a minute uh, if you do a lot of practice. Um, I'm not going to show you how to decode it today. I'm just going to show you how the thing works. And uh, as one of the bonuses on videolocks.com, we do have information for you on how to do that. So after watching this video, you'll be able to hit the ground running. Uh, when you take a look at that information. So the different parts of the lock are starting with the shackle. Obviously everyone knows this part. You have the dial that have the numbers on it. If you look inside of this cutout, see that piece that moves up with the shackle? That's called the bolt spring. And the bolt spring goes into something called the fence lever. And if we turn it around, on this side and I pull up see that piece that's kind of moving down like that it's called the fence what happens the fence falls into something called a gate which we're going to show you in a second this back part while we're here is actually called the rear cover plate on the other side of the rear cover plate if we look in here this back part on the inside is called the wheel pack mounting plate and that gets its name because we have a series of three wheels. These wheels are held in place by something called a wheel spring. And if you take a look, you can kind of see if I get my lighting right. You see a spring right in the center back? There you go. There's a spring that holds all three of these wheels in place. And if you see, I can actually get my finger in there and move these around. That's the only thing holding them in is the spring. Um, if you look on each wheel, do you see that little groove on the first wheel right there? That groove? That's actually called a wheel catch. And that'll catch the next wheel when it hits the next catch and allows you to turn everything. This piece here, this little flat piece that's attached to the shackle, it's called the shackle retainer and you can see on the back that when you have the right combination it will pull up through that groove okay um, in between each of the wheels is a washer there's no way you're gonna be able to see that in this video but uh, it is there and if you look on the first wheel do you see those little um, indents those are called false gates I'm going to show you a true gate. See that big one? That big cutout? That's called a gate. The true gate. Which corresponds to a number on this side. So let me show you how that works. You uh, obviously you want to turn your wheel three times. That kind of resets everything. Start at zero. So I'm going to go back to this side, okay? And we're going to look at the, at the wheels. And um, what happens... We're going to turn this thing, and, and those wheel catches are going to line up, and eventually it's going to turn the third wheel first. All right, so the gate on the third wheel is now in line with the fence. If we look at what number that is, it's six. So we're going to go the opposite direction now. And the second wheel gate is going to line up with the third wheel gate, which will give us our second number and the combination. Let's take a look. 24. So 8, 24. Now we're going to go in the opposite direction again so that wheel number 1's gate lines up with 2 and 3, which is approximately seven I don't know how those numbers ended up that way but now that all three of these gates are lined up they don't have to be perfect it's just enough to get that fence in there I'm gonna pull up okay the bolt is gonna retract into the fence I screwed up my number there and watch it fall in boom okay out comes the shackle the bolt retracted, which was in here, and uh, now it moves freely up and down within the uh, 
back mounting plate. So that's all there is to it. Um, I hope this helped explain how this thing works. Now when you get to the uh, information that we provided on how to decode it, you should, uh, you should have a good head start. Thanks for watching and uh, please leave some comments and don't forget to check out our lock picking guide at videolocks.com.